Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today's question is, 12 persons are seated around a round table. Find the probability that two particular persons sit together. So what is a given question? There are 12 persons and they are seated around a table. So we have to find the probability that two particular persons are sitting together. So let us assume that these two particular persons are X and Y. So X and Y are to sit together. Okay, so remaining 10 persons can be arranged in any way. Okay, so remaining 10 persons are there. So how many ways 10 persons can be arranged? 10 persons can be arranged in 10 factorial ways. Okay, and these two persons in how many ways they can be arranged? They can be arranged in 2 factorial ways. Okay, so these 10 persons they can be arranged in any way and these two persons are considered as a single unit because they have to sit together. So, the remaining 10 persons can be arranged in 10 factorial ways and these 2 persons can be arranged in 2 factorial ways. So, it will be 10 factorial into 2 factorial is the total number of ways in which these persons can be arranged. So, 10 factorial into 2 factorial is the number of ways in which this particular event can be done. So, what are the total number of ways in which the persons can be seated around a round table? So, it will be equal to n minus 1 factorial the number of ways in which n persons can be seated around a round table will be equal to n minus 1 factorial this we have already seen in the playlist permutations and combinations the number of ways in which n persons can be arranged will be n factorial and number of ways in which n persons can be arranged around a round table will be n minus 1 factorial. Okay, you have to be thorough with this formula. Number of ways in which n persons can be arranged around a round table will be equal to n minus 1 factorial. So, here it will be equal to how many persons are there? 12 persons. So, how many ways in which 12 persons can be seated around a round table will be 11 factorial. So, it will be equal to 10 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 11 factorial which gives us 10 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 11 into 10 factorial. So, which will be giving us 2 divided by 11. So, this is our required probability 2 by 11. Second question, 6 boys and 6 girls sit in a row randomly. Find the probability that all the 6 girls sit together. So, what is the probability to arrange these 12 students? There are 6 boys and 6 girls. So, total there are 12 students. So, the total number of ways in which these 6 boys and 6 girls can be arranged in a row will be equal to 12 factorial. Now, our aim is to find out the number of favorable events. So, what is the given question? Find the probability that all the 6 girls sit together. So, all the 6 girls are to be seated together. So, it will be like 6 girls 1 group plus the next this 6 boys are there. The 6 girls seated together can be considered as a single unit. Okay. So, how, how many ways this can be arranged? So, this is 6 boys plus 1. This all the 6 girls sitting together is considered as a single unit. So, how many ways this can be arranged? This can be arranged in 7 factorial ways. Okay. So, 6 boys and these 6 girls are sitting together. Okay, this all the 6 girls are sitting together. So, this can be considered as a single unit. So, and here there are 6 boys. 6 boys can come here or 6 boys can come here. Likewise, it can change. So, to arrange these 6 boys and this single unit of 6 girls, there are 7 factorial ways. Okay, so 7 factorial into. Now, in how many ways these 6 girls can be arranged? these 6 girls have to be arranged in 6 factorial ways. So, it will be 7 factorial into 6 factorial divided by 12 factorial. So, that will be a required probability. The required probability will be 7 factorial which will be the number of ways in which these 6 boys and all these 6 girls seated together considered as one unit. So, it will be 7 fact 6 plus 1, 7 factorial ways into these girls can be arranged in 6 factorial ways. So, it will be 6 factorial. 7 factorial into 6 factorial divided by 12 factorial. All these portions have already been covered in permutations and combinations video. Please refer to the permutations and combinations playlist. Here we are just considering the probability. The only difference is that there will be denominator also which will be denoting the total number of ways in which the arrangements can be 
done. So that will be for arranging n students, it will be n factorial ways and for arranging n students around a round table, it will be n minus 1 factorial. So those extra formulas will come here, that is the only difference. So 7 factorial into 6 factorial divided by 12 factorial. So what you will be getting? So it will be 7 factorial into 6 factorial, we are just writing 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And 12 factorial, we are writing it as 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial. Yeah. So, this 7 factorial and 7 factorial will be getting cancelled. 6 into 2 is 12 and uh, 3 is 3, here it will come. Then 5 into 2 is 10 and 4 into 2 is 8. So, what you will be getting? 1 by 11 into 2 into 3 into 2. So, 22 into 6 which gives us 132. So, 1 by 132 is our required probability. Third question, 6 boys and 6 girls sit in a row at random. Find the probability that the boys and girls sit alternately. So here also total number of ways will be equal to 12 factorial. There, there is no doubt in that. Now what is our question? We have to make the boys and girls sit alternately. So it should come like this. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10 and 11, 12. So this is one way and second way is again girl boy, girl boy, girl boy likewise it can come. So there are two ways in which it can be arranged. If boys and girls are to sit alternately either the first way like this or like this. So now how many ways these boys can be arranged? These boys can be arranged in 6 factorial ways. And how many ways these girls can be arranged? Girls also can be arranged in 6 factorial ways. So this boy B1 can come here, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 or B6 can come here, B5 can come here, B4 can come here. These 6 boys can be arranged in any order. So it will be 6 factorial ways. Similarly, the girls can also be arranged in any order. So it will be 6 factorial ways into 2 because there are 2 ways. One is boy, girl, boy, girl or second way it will be girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. So, into 2 will come divided by 12 factorial. 12 factorial is the total number of ways in which these boys and girls can be arranged in a single row. It will be 6 factorial into 6 factorial into 2 divided by 12 factorial. So, what you will be getting? So, 6 factorial and 6 factorial will be getting cancelled. So, we are splitting up 6 factorial as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 2 and 12 factorial will be 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. So, 6 into 2 is equal to 12, 5 into 2 is equal to 10, 4 into 2 is equal to 8 and 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and these 2 and these 2 also can be getting cancelled. So, what will be your answer? 1 divided by 11 into 2 into 3 into 7 which will be giving us 77 into 6 which is 462. So, 1 divided by 462 is our probability, the number of ways in which the boys and girls can sit alternately. All these are very important questions, cat level questions. So, please revise the permutations and combinations playlist. Thank you for watching.